In regards to the immigrant status, does one become serf by becoming an immigrant? Does an immigrant become a serf, gives up his rights in order to receive social benefits? It is a good question and a very difficult one, colleagues. In a formal way, yes, looking at today's social algorithms according to the hierarchical system that you just saw in front of you, which was created based on the Sephirot mechanism and supported by the Roman right, all of it together states that, yes, an immigrant is a rightless serf. The only rights he receives are the initial rights given to him by the government, which grants him a certain initial status and a little bit of money. Although some of it is given by the family that sheltered him, that is, if there is a family that sheltered him. It doesn't really share with him, but rather it includes this person in the area of its interests, as if demonstrating that he is their guest, showing to the land, first of all, and to the social environment, this is my guest. But as you understand, if these people are not related to you ideologically or by blood, it can't continue for too long. Sooner or later, you will have to face the situation on your own. You were weeded out from your land. If you weren't planted deep in there, then such weeding won't hurt. But if your roots were deep, spreading for several generations, in this case you will suffer for a long time. Suffer emotionally, perhaps even physically. But you definitely will suffer emotionally. And the reason for this pain would be your ripped out roots. You've been used to receiving strength through them. It was so natural to you that you stopped noticing it. Now you will notice that. That the source you were getting your strength from is not longer there. What should you do in this case? You need to establish yourself in your rights. First of all, in the new area, on the new land. As someone who came to his place, as someone who found his own spot and who knows for sure, judging by all signs, perceptions, by all inner and outer signals, understanding that this is the land where he will continue spreading his roots. First of all, perform a ritual of acquainting and introducing yourself to the land you will live on. We spoke about it a lot. There are free videos about it on YouTube. There is everything. It is also described in the book. Even a special book was published on this topic, called The Master of the Place. There are many seminars and lectures about this topic. Definitely use these resources if you are not familiar with these issues study. Perhaps it will become useful not to you personally, but maybe you have relatives that found themselves in similar situations. Even better, you will be able to help them by advising on proper ritual actions. Because if the land doesn't accept a person, it really doesn't matter what you do, how much money you have, how many friends or people you know, no matter how much the accepting government keeps telling you that you are the best and it has been waiting for you and life was no good without you and here you've come and happiness ascended upon everyone, don't believe that, it's all politics. They are trying to lure you into a foreign idea, because if there are not enough true believers, let's call them that, the idea will cease to exist. That is why every egregor right now will sing and dance in order to lure you in, but that alone doesn't provide you with rights. It rather provides a less restrictive color, which you won't notice right away, which won't start to bother you immediately, but eventually it will do so for sure. That is why you need to establish your rights as a free man, and the right of a free man can only be granted by the land, by the mother, that is why you need to perform appropriate rituals. And if there is even a smallest sign from the land that tells you, I don't want you, don't you dare to insist. Just keep on moving. You must find your own soil. If the soil is there, then the people will appear, as well as work, housing, everything will appear. Because you will resonate together, resonate in frequencies, resonate informationally, resonate energetically that this is where you belong. But if there is no place like that, do not insist. Don't listen to those who are trying to lure you into an idea. The land is always primary. Everything else is secondary. All that is secondary soon will no longer exist. But the land, 
will remain. And if you want to spread your roots, spread them correctly. If this is truly your decision.